When you're planning an IFR flight, you have to juggle dozens of details. One of the most important is managing paper charts and approach plates. Hi everyone, I'm Liz Swain for AvWeb.com. In this video, we're going to examine how Garmin has integrated paper charts into its new GPS Map 696. The 696 incorporates many of the features found in Garmin's flagship G1000 glass panel system, and it's easier to use than any of the portables we've tested so far. What's new is the chart and plate function. Let's take a closer look. What makes the 696 suitable for charts and approach plates is the screen size. This is the largest aviation portable Garmin has ever made, with a 6.5 by 4.5 inch screen that measures 7.5 inches on the diagonal. Some of the electronic flight bags, or EFBs, that we've tried actually have larger screens than the Garmin 696, but because these products were adapted from laptop technology, they suffer from glare and are difficult to read in the sunlight. The 696 is bright and readable in almost all lighting conditions, and the screen has minimum glare, making it perfect for charts. Here's what the 696 contains in its charting database. En route chart data, NACO approach plates displayed graphically, stars and departure procedures, and airport diagrams. To access approach plates on the 696, turn the joystick control clockwise to the waypoint page, then press the chart soft key. Next, press the joystick to activate the cursor to access the desired chart from the pull-down menu. Press enter to load the chart. As you can see, the full approach plate is viewable, but at about 70% scale. For most of us, that will be too small to read comfortably. To address this, you can use the scale button to zoom in and then pan around the plate with the joystick. Because the FAA's NACO plates don't have lat long references, the 696 doesn't geo reference aircraft position directly on the plate as other electronic flight bags using the Jeppesen system do. But it's easy to use the joystick to toggle back and forth between the plate view and the navigation view, which shows the aircraft position relative to the course. When the aircraft is on the ground, the 696 does geo-reference aircraft position on NACO's expanded airport diagrams, as you can see in this example. This is what Garmin calls its safe taxi feature. It can be configured to automatically call up the airport diagram when the aircraft is taxiing. Garmin's database contains information about confusing or difficult taxiway layouts, and these so-called hotspots are depicted with red shading. Probably the most remarkable thing about this 696 is that NACO's entire chart library, that's this stack of plates and charts and more, is contained in the database. But you will have to keep it up to date. For liability reasons, the plate function remains usable only for 180 days from the last revision. A single chart revision costs $95, and a one-year subscription from Garmin costs $395. What you get for your money is every approach procedure in the country at your fingertips. And as you've seen, Garmin has done a great job of making the charts easily accessible. For more on the 696, check out Garmin.com. This is Liz Swain for AvWeb.com. Thanks for watching.